Need a last minute profound Christmas gift for someone you love? How about Secrets of Birthdays, the Love and Lust Report? Right now, for one week only, you can get two reports for $52. Two for $52. That's almost $18 off the normal price. That's two great gifts for just $52 at SecretsOfBirthdays.com. Hello, Soul Healers, and welcome to Friday. It's finally Friday, and it is Christmas. Merry Christmas to you Christians out there. Happy Hanukkah to the Jewish out there. Happy whatever to whatever out there. You know what? The point is, is human culture is celebrating. It's great to be alive, and thank God we have some holidays other than Love Fest Day that celebrate that. Now, that said, you're probably a little moody. The moon is in Leo, so I don't think Virgos are really feeling it today. I don't think you're going to feel it today. I don't think you're going to feel it tomorrow. Be careful about falling into your dark self. Be careful about going into the past, okay? That's going to be a real temptation, all right? Especially if you have, someone has reincarnated, which means died. Uh, don't go there, okay? It's just not going to serve you. It really just, you need really to get pulled out of your shell. So you know what? Go to the Christmas party. Go to whatever it is you obligate yourself to be. Put on the face. Just walk through the motions because this is such a heavy holiday anyways. To go through a weeding transit, which is what you're going through, it's just not going to feel good. But here's the thing. You're going to feel bright and light by Christmas Day evening. Okay, so Saturday evening, the moon moves into Virgo. You're going to pop. You're going to just come out of your shell, and you're going to feel really good. So if you can just get to then, you'll be just fine. I'm not manifesting like super depression or whatever. I'm just saying this is a shitty transit to happen on Christmas for a Virgo. That's all I'm saying. Just wind up that way this year. Not always the case, though. Every sign kind of takes turns getting a shitty holiday. This year, you got it. Now, zoom into the sun. We're in chapter one of Sun in Capricorn. This is also a reason why I'm concerned for the Virgos. Now, I got to tell you right now, I'm not on the air next week. No horoscopes next week. This Taurus has taken a vacation, okay, which means I'm going to work only 40 hours next week. <laughs> but it does mean that I need to tell you what's going to go on. Next week, Virgos need to allow an aspect of their heart chakra or consciousness surrounding it to die. Now, you are on a slow approach to returning to your heart. This is your dreams. This is your childhood. This is your joy. This is true love. This is true romance. This is your creative side. It's your heart, okay? And Virgos are working to get back to the heart. What's in the way of the heart? Well, there's resentment. There's memory of past pain. Uh, there's jealousy. There's envy. There's all sorts of things. There's all kinds of emotions that prevent us from returning to our heart. And those emotions are justified. You're justified to feel resentful that you didn't get it and your sister did. You're justified to be envious of that person. That's okay. That's your inner child just kind of pouting. That's okay. But you can't get back to the joy and actually being happy unless you resolve whatever that crap is. Those are weeds in your soul garden. All right? So next week, there is something like that that needs to just go ahead and go. You need to let go of the resentment. Let go of the envy. Let go of all of it. Whatever it is, let it go and let it flow. Say goodbye to it so you can say hello to your true heart. And you're not going to change the past by holding on to it. There's no way in hell. It's just not going to happen. So I would say let it go. And the good news is the universe wants Virgos to fall in true love and to be totally ridiculously happy in their heart chakra. And that's why Pluto is putting this pressure on you this year at this time. All right, so it's Friday. We've got Astro Gossip going live today with DJ David Palmer and myself. If you want to feel a little cheery, come laugh at us. Two guys talking about gossip in black shirts. Come on. Come on down and watch. We're live everywhere, Soul Garden Streams. I'm also back one week from uh, today for Astro Gossip, our New Year's Eve special. David and I are going to recap 2010 zaniest Astro moments and do some predictions in 2011. And I am back full time with your horoscope, Virgin, on Monday, January 3rd. So, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy New Year. I love you. Thank you for watching in 2010, and I will see you in 2011. Live, love, be. So go.